And here we are guys, tonight I'm gonna make a zucchini roll. Okay, and stuff it. You can stuff it with whatever you want. I have, um, so the base should always be a spreadable cheese. I'm gonna use Philadelphia cream cheese because I don't have robbiola on me. And I have left, like some leftover um, prosciutto cotto, cooked ham. I'm gonna throw that in there. But I've done it with salmon and Philadelphia. I've done it with other veggies and robbiola. So again, as long as you have a spreadable cheese, uh, any cold cuts left over, this works amazing. So in essence, what we're doing here is we're just going to be using these few ingredients. Zucchini, eggs, parmigiano, and whatever kind of spreadable cheese. I'm using Philadelphia cream cheese, and I have some leftover prosciutto. Not a lot, but just enough to cover my roll, okay? So what we're going to start with now is I'm going to just start grating my zucchini. I'll be back. So my zucchini are grated. Now the next step is I'm going to get five eggs and I'm just going to crack them right into that, all right? Okay, and now to the egg, you're gonna add about 25 grams of parmigiano. I added a little bit more just for flavor. Okay, also to this, you're gonna add a fresh hit of pepper. Okay, and a little bit of salt. Slowly mix your parmigiano with your eggs, try not to make a mess. And if you do, who cares, just clean it up. Okay, and slowly start incorporating your zucchini to this mix. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, so, our, let's say, frittata of zucchini, or the base for our roll, is done. We're gonna put that bad boy in the oven for 20 minutes at 180. So that's about, uh, what is it, 360 for you, 365? Okay, uh, 180 times two, whatever that is. All the mathematicians out there, figure it out, because I suck in math. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've lined a cookie sheet. This. It's called a cookie sheet. Yes, a cookie sheet. Because a lot of people are writing me saying, oh no, cookie sheets are this, which is parchment paper, okay? So we're gonna line a cookie sheet with parchment paper and we're gonna throw that mix right on top. Okay, you're just gonna hold your parchment paper down. You're gonna spread them off. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It'll all even out in the end, that's my rule. Okay. And now, as I said before, you're gonna put her in the oven for 20 minutes at 180. Did you guys do the math in the meantime? Perfect. We'll see you guys in a few minutes once this is baked. Okay guys, so when you take this out of the oven, I put another uh, parchment paper on the base. All right, it's gonna be very hot, so be careful. Okay, and just peel it off. Okay. And you can leave, if this is a little bit more tanned, as I like to say, leave that part upwards, facing you. I'll explain why after, okay? I let this cool down 
uh, not until it's cold, but at least until it's like uh, warm, okay? Because now you're gonna go spread a layer of Philadelphia on that. And if you do it now, it's just gonna um, melt into the um, into the base of our zucchini uh, frittata per se, okay? So we're gonna let that cool down for a few minutes and I'll be back. All right guys, so I only have about half a Philadelphia container left, not even, okay? So I'm just gonna put it in sections here. Wow, Ooh, take, 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 cancel, cancel. Ah, that's what happens, who cares? Right guys, nobody's concerned that I <laughs> just washed my roll with the container. All right, you find that funny? All right guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a flat, flat edge knife and try to spread that as best as possible. Okay, so now it's not gonna be a lot guys because I only have half a container but it was just to show you guys this video because this is one of my faves and it really is delicious and this you can make it today and keep it in the fridge for tomorrow uh, to serve as a beautiful antipasto it's really really nice again keep in mind you can stuff it with anything you want Today I'm doing just prosciutto with whatever prosciutto I've left, but you're gonna see it's not gonna be enough to fill the base, okay? But that's okay. It'll give me some. It'll be tasty. Okay, just spread that around. Okay, make sure to get as much as possible. Okay, this is really nice even for kids. If you wanna fill it up with veggies and cheese, make sure they get all their protein in there. All right. So this is the first layer we're doing. Now we're going to put a layer of prosciutto. Oh, and my assistant has brought it to me, so that's perfect. So here's my prosciutto cotto. Thank you, assistant. So you can just put that as you wish. Guys, this is what you're gonna do. Work with me here, it's not gonna come out perfectly, but the idea is this. You're gonna roll this, okay? So, okay. And now, let's try to keep it as tight as possible. Now again, this is warm. If it's hot, you'll never, you'll never be able to do that, okay? Because it's gonna be too hot for your hands, okay? And tuck it in as you're rolling to keep it nice and tight. Okay, and there you have it, folks. Now, there's your roll, nice and tight. Take a look at that from the side, okay? So now, if I was to keep it in the fridge overnight, for example, we're gonna eat this right now, so it's very warm, but if we're not gonna eat the whole thing, clearly we won't be able to do. So what I do is I wrap it up like this, roll it in your parchment paper, okay, nice and tight. Okay, maybe place a nice roll of foil. I make it cool down completely. Once it's cooled down completely, I place it in my fridge, okay? And then the next day, I cut it, okay? Now, fast forward 24 hours. If you wanna keep it in your fridge for 24 hours, great. The same thing's gonna happen whether I wait 24 hours or whether I wait now. The only difference is now, it might fall apart a little bit because it's still hot. So let's see what happens anyway, just out of curiosity. All right. So, taking it apart. This is still warm, guys, okay? So don't get disappointed. Don't be disappointed if it doesn't come out the way it's gonna look. I will show you. Okay, so first what I do is generally, I cut the ends off, because the ends are not as pretty, but not bad. Okay, we're not gonna waste that, okay? You can make them as thick or as thin as you like, but don't make them too thin or else you really don't taste anything. Okay. 
So it's kind of like an Italian sushi, if you may. an option so for example this is enough for my family these pieces here that I've plated okay now what I can do with the rest is now I just do this wrap it up okay make it cool down okay serve these pieces once that's cooled down I'm gonna put that in the fridge and I'll show you what I made to serve with it, okay? Something very, this is very, very light, obviously. I'm accompanying it with a, um, a green salad and some bruschette, okay? I'll uh, show you what that looks like all put together. All right, guys, and here we are at our dinner table, and I've got my rotolo with zucchine, prosciutto cotto, and Philadelphia, my bruschette. These are some old bread that I, well, not old, but not fresh bread. And these are actually, they sell them here. It's just hard bread, is it? Okay, and I just remember, um, remember I had a bunch of tomatoes. If you followed my other recipe today, I had posted that one with a bunch of tomatoes. I just put a nice uh, drizzle of olive oil, some salt, and some balsamic vinegar on these bruschette. Okay, they're, they're gonna seep into that, so they're gonna be great when you eat it. It's gonna be like crunchy and um, sweet, which is very nice. And here in Italy, this is a very, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but see how this is just like plain green lettuce? We don't dress our lettuce here like back home. So this way it's not really wasted and everyone kind of fixes it on their own plate. Okay, something I got used to uh, over time. All right guys, so from my home to yours, buon appetito, piatto pulito.